So I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Never compare your beginning to somebody's middle or end phase. Never do that. You're basically setting yourself up to be discouraged, and you're playing yourself ultimately. And that's speaking from experience. Never compare your beginning to somebody's middle or end phase. We all start right here at the beginning and gradually move up. Whether we have the same end goal or not, we all walk very different paths. So make sure you remember that. Your lane, your terms. Simple. What's good, YouTube? I go by the name of Q if you're unfamiliar. If you are familiar, shout out to you. Welcome back to the channel. This video was inspired by the one and only Julie at Investing Latina. So make sure y'all go subscribe to her channel and also follow her on IG because that's where the inspiration came from that I'm going to share in today's video. Let her know that Q sent you. She's super sweet, super smart, and she really, like, really, really knows her money stuff. And she's funny as hell, too. She's, <laughs> she's funny as hell. She keeps me cracking up with the finance memes that she share on IG. So make sure y'all go show her some love and let her know that Q sent you. This was the inspiration right here. Financial literacy is not common sense. Never let anyone make you feel stupid. This takes time to learn. I read that and I was like, facts. I was like, big facts. Big, big, big facts. Time and time again, I see it myself. Some people may know certain things about finance, and then they want to shade somebody else or they want to shame somebody else or they want to make somebody else feel stupid for not knowing what they know, the things that took them years to learn. They want to make somebody else feel bad for not knowing that. Whole time, financial literacy, just like that quote, financial literacy is not common sense. It wasn't common sense for me. That's a fact. All the stuff I know now, like I said in my previous video, is all the stuff that I learned over the last five years. I was 26 years old living in my own apartment and I had zero knowledge of the stuff that I know now. So that goes to show we all start somewhere. We all start somewhere and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Nothing to be ashamed of at all. But the point is that when you learn these things, you share it. You share it because majority people, not just in the U.S., but in the entire world, don't have this knowledge. And that's a fact. I've done my research. I've seen all the statistics, all the analytics. Majority of people do not know what to do with money. They don't understand money. They don't know how to invest, save, pay off debt. None of that. And that's why I share what I share. That's why I share what I share in hopes of helping as many people as I can with their finance because it's important. It's very, very important. I don't want people depending on their jobs. I don't want people depending on the government, Social Security, none of that. None of that. I document what I'm doing step by step without being too preachy, without being the teacher, because that's one thing I'm not. That's one thing I come on here and never say I am because I'm not qualified. I'm not a financial advisor. I just do what I do and share it. If it helps you, good. If it don't, then that's just what it is. It's been on my heart to share because, like I said, I know for a fact people don't have this knowledge. So with that being said... If anybody's making fun of you because I've been there, I've been called the broke boy. I can go back to when I was cashing paper checks at the currency exchange because I didn't have a bank account. How are you 20 years old? You're 20 something years old when you ain't got a bank account. That's because I defaulted and I had charge offs and I had overdraft. So the bank shut me down. I couldn't even open an account because I was a high risk. I was a liability. I didn't know what I was doing then. And there are multiple people in that position. So if you're in that position, don't feel bad. Don't make anybody make you feel bad or feel stupid. You're right where you need to be if you're watching this video. Hopefully that helps you. I'm going to share a brief story of my financial upbringing and then I'll wrap this video up. When I was younger, I would go to the store with my grandparents, my parents, whoever I would go to the store with. And they would always give me a disclaimer. When we go in this store, don't look at nothing. Don't touch nothing. If you look at something and you want it, you know we can't afford it, so why even send yourself off? If you touch something and you break it, we got to pay for it. And when we get home, you already know what's going to happen. I would ask for stuff outside of that. And the go-to responses from my parents and grandparents were, you know I can't afford that. Or, wait till I get my next paycheck. Or, don't even think about it. I ain't got the money for that. That's what I heard growing up. 
that's what I heard growing up, and that's no way to live. To be quite honest, there's no way to live. So you're basically just surviving. All you can do is pay for necessities and keep working, keep running on that hamster wheel until you die. I'm not trying to live like that. I don't think anybody should live like that. I'm a high, high quality of living type of guy. That's what I strive for. And like I said, that's why I share what I share. So let me know in the comments what type of financial upbringing you had. Let me know because I know for a fact it was, I can't afford it. Don't look at nothing. Don't touch nothing. My parents and grandparents knew nothing about investing. They knew nothing other than to make money and pay the bills. That's it. That's it. They knew a little bit about credit that they told me about. But other than that, that was it. So I'm grateful for the knowledge that I have. And I'm grateful to be able to share it with you guys. And like I said, I just want to help as many people as I can. So like this video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I go by the name of Q. And like I always say, if Q can make it happen, you can make it happen. I'll holler at y'all next video. Peace.